So with leaving TickTick a while ago, as I continue to look at task managers for iPadOS, macOS, and having some problems with TickTick, mainly around the automation or the lack of automation um, in it from any quarter, really, um, I moved back over to Things 3. Today, I'm going to show you how I automate my content calendar with Things 3 uh, and a shortcut just because it's it's cool. I thought it was pretty cool. It took me a while to work it out, get dates to format right and everything like that. Now, before we dive into the greencast today, we're going to talk about two ways to support the channel. Number one, go to Patreon, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, support the channel. Number two, go to Skillshare at curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare. Take one of my courses, why have my one on TickTick -tick right now, upcoming one on time blocking, or a one on things three. The one I'm taking right now is from uh, Ali Abdal, um, just on how he runs his YouTube channel and does editing with Final Cut. I don't use Final Cut, so that part's not useful, but... You know, some of the other tips, techniques, the ways he's doing his video have been very good for me. So take those two, buckle up, let's look at my content calendar. So what we're looking at right here is my content calendar. I took off, I have a bunch of other calendars, but I took them all off just, you know, to make it easy to see today. Um, you can see I've got uh, using things with, I don't even remember, automating my content. That's what I'm recording right now. That'll be out on November 2nd. I'm recording it on the 21st of October. Deep work. Uh, using things with your, I don't remember what that one is now, barking up the wrong tree, six months with the, I'm not sure again, um, organized writer using Devon Think to re in, nope, using Devon Think to, oh, to store my client writing, uh, cognitive productivity is another book, re-indexing content in Devon Think, and then my next one will be a Friday one. So I already know that's a book one. Um, so I'm going to go open to drafts, and I know I have a huge pile of books behind me, so I'm going to go to I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to tag it as writing. This is part of my drafts workflow, I'm working. Um, and then I'm going to title it book haul because I actually, I usually just leave the pile on the floor until I get to it. That's it. Haul oh my new books, which are, let me look behind me. I don't know, 10 deep right now. I'll probably have two more by then. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to do content calendar. And this shortcut right here. This is a book. That's it. Now we go back to our thing. You see December 4th book haul. Okay, so that doesn't help you a lot. So let's look at the shortcut. Because the shortcut is the um, big thing, so content, oh, content calendar. All right, I put under things three because it's things three specific shortcut. Oh, some issues in iOS 14.1 I'm in. There we go. Now we're in. I'm going to touch with my finger. And it crashed, of course. Let's try to open this again. Things three. Content calendar. There you go, we've got it. So there's a few things that were, I guess, difficult in here. Getting the draft ID in here, getting the whole content of the draft in here was hard because it just, it it was. And so what I, when I did some searching, what people said is to basically use this search string. So search drafts, folder, just anything, um, flag status, anything, and the sort order is accessed. And then I'm sorting descending and only getting the one result. So that's gonna get me the most recent draft in the folder. So my next step is, now I have the content of the draft with that. My next step is to get all calendar events where start date is in the next seven weeks. So I can't really schedule out longer than seven weeks. Calendar is my content calendar, right? That green one, um, sort by start date, limit uh, to one. So I'm just getting the kind of the farthest away uh, item. And then format, I'm gonna format the calendar events Right, and I put a custom format string in there just to get the day of the week. So e, -E, -E. Uh, and you find that if you search shortcuts date format, it'll link to basics and it actually has a link to like the full format spec for you as well. Then I need to define what type of post I'm doing. Right, you saw me choose book, um, and so it's regular or book, and then if, right, if we're doing regular, then day of the week contains Monday. So I'm basically saying is the most recent post a Monday post or a Friday post is the list or the latest one. And then I need to, there's no way to do relative date. I can't say like, oh, the next free Friday um, on my content calendar that has no date, nothing at all. 
Um, and went back through shortcuts on a few times uh, with this in um, some different Slack channels that are around shortcuts and in a Discord channel on shortcuts and in a few different spots. And we just couldn't figure out a way to do it. So I have to manually do it, right? If it's a Monday post and I'm doing a uh, Monday, I need seven plus seven um, days, right? Add seven days to start date. And if it is a um, Friday post I'm kind of aiming for, or the last one was a Friday, I only need to add three days to that, right? And then end if. And I set the variable of variable, variable of content date to the result of this if statement, right? And then I do the same thing with a book, right? Just kind of opposite. If it's a book post, if it contains Friday, then I'm going to do plus seven because books are on Friday. Otherwise, it's plus four, right? And I had show adjusted date in there. Um, oh, I don't need that. That was just for testing, so we'll delete that one. And then we go end if, and again, we set the content variable to the if result as well. Now we're going to format it again. We're going to format the menu result to an actual day, right? To a month and day. And that's where I get, if you notice on my content calendar, calendar, all right, it says November 30th right here at the beginning. So I'm formatting that chunk first. I'm going to format the date, and I'm going to actually make it into format plus the title of the draft from the menu result. And I add it to the calendar. That's it. So it's from is menu result. So from is just like the starting date of the thing. It's not, I'm, I want an all day task. You can see I've checked that right here um, so that I have the menu result and set it as an all day task so that I see it. Now we have some. Right, some content creation and things, because this all that also creates down here. You can see the book haul got created right there, and I can just drag that down. So this actually creates a list, uh, a checklist, and things for me as well. So automate things and put a comment in there so I know what's happening. And I'm going to format the menu result again. We're formatting the date again. Probably don't need to do that twice. I could probably just use a variable, but replace percent twenty and formatted date. And that's just so that it's a URL encoded properly with things three, All right? Case sensitive, replace it with title, just so I have my titles. And I'm going to format date and format a title just to combine them for myself. And then I'm going to run the things URL. So things as a URL scheme, right? Things triple slash add project. So I'm going to add the project and the title is uh, the things formatted list name, which will be this text field here. And the deadline is formatted date. And then we can jump to the end. And it's in the area content to do's are edit and record. So I can only add two to do's here because those are the only two that have no subtasks in them or a checklist and things terms. So now I'm going to add a writing task with a link to the draft. Again, because this needs more data, right? So I take add title and write notes and put in the link. So if I go back to things under write, I have a link to that drafts task. It wants to open drafts and I can go straight to my draft. There we go. And right, and I keep checking off or turning off the show and run because I don't want to see any of this. I just want it to run. All right, next I add my YouTube tasks. And that uses add task. The title is YouTube, the checklist, and then you got to put in your different items, what my items are. So they make sure I check them off. And then I put in schedule four, right? So that's schedule with my formatted date under YouTube. Schedule for December 4th, just so that I have that right in there. I don't have to go looking for it. That was actually one of the issues with TickTick. -tick. I always had to go looking for the date I had to schedule again. There was no good way to automate um, that, this kind of that checklist step at all, right? Now. And whether I add tags or not, and then I can add it to the list, the things formatted list name. That's the project we kind of established before things calls them lists. And then basically the same thing for post tasks. I have other. Um, you know, kind of tasks in my posts that I want to do, like embed it, embed the YouTube video, add my content, add a thumbnail, category tags, put tags twice, uh, and then schedule for December 4th. And that's it. This allows me to um, create a post just by looking and saying that I'll make my next draft, open up a draft, do some editing on it, um, right? Even just hit enter, and then it's the most recently accessed draft, most recently edited draft, and then I can fire off my content calendar and have it all automated for me. This took me oh, about an hour to figure out the first time, oh, maybe a little longer than that. Um, but it has made it really easy to use Things 3 as a content calendar and not need to use TickTick. -tick. Um, again, just because some of the automation in there was really lacking, 
And then the feature disparity between Mac OS and iOS just was terrible. <laughs> it was super annoying all the time that there was features on iOS that Mac OS didn't have. Because I do use Mac OS not every day, but quite regularly still. Um, and there were just features lacking on Mac OS and it was dumb. And even the quick entry panel on Mac OS in uh, Tick Tick is so severely lacking as to be almost useless. You can basically put something in your inbox, that's it. Even if I know what project it goes to, everything else like that, it's really hard to get enough data in there that once you enter a task in Tick Tick, you don't have to go back and um, still find the task right away again and put more information in there because it just doesn't let you get at extra, like the description, any other information that needs to go with it, which sucks. That's it. Content calendar in Things 3, all automated with shortcuts. Um, probably the only missing thing in here, in fact, I know the only missing thing in here, is it doesn't deal with the uh, phone version of Things. So Things, because it is a, um, go here, new Things task. Because Things is a different, it's not a universal purchase, it's a different app on iPad and on iOS, you actually have to do something like this, get device model, see if you're on the iPad version, and then put the um, iPad tasks in here. And then you can see right here, so if it's not, so if it's my iPhone version I'm looking at, then you actually have different actions and shortcuts. So you have to do this block of if iPad and switch and like duplicate your work if you're on uh, iPad OS or iOS, if you're on two different devices, because the shortcuts are literally not the same, which is super lame. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell, and maybe possibly YouTube is going to let you know that something happened, but it's YouTube. Who knows? It's an algorithm. It might not happen. If you want to support the channel, you can do that in two ways. You can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take my course on Tick Tick. Um, I would say the automation stuff, I think it's really good. It's also a totally cross-platform. So if you're a Windows user, good to go. Uh, or if you have Windows in your life and some Mac, that's a good one, whereas Things 3 just won't do it. Uh, you can also watch my upcoming courses on time blocking and on Things 3. Have an excellent day.